As of right now, I'm going to talk to you about this Jimi Hendrix piece I made. This one I made about four or five years ago, and I was just inspired by his music. I created little references to all the songs throughout the entire piece, and kind of spearheaded my vision for what I want all my pieces to be like. Not only like psychedelic or, oh, it glows in the dark, it illuminates with black light, but kind of gave me ideas, and I'm about to show you why. So first things first, I'm going to go ahead, turn off this light, and turn on the black light. So this piece is about three feet tall, so it's a massive piece. And this black light's a little bit on the intense side, but apologies for that. But it still shows all the colors and where I was aiming to go. So as you can see, I have a lot of little minor details on him. As I said, I made this a few years ago. My skills have excelled immensely. I made an angel coming out of purple haze, peace sign coming out of the purple haze, which is all illuminated by a fire at the bottom with a little house on fire, and then a castle made of sand blending into the sea, nice little wildflowers, nice little scenery, just fire underneath. A lot of burning psychedelic goodness. Now, this is what gave me the best I do. So as you can see, I have him just over the fire, surrounded by all this beautiful stuff. But if I turn off the light, now it's just him over the fire. And that is all you see when the lights go off. Obviously when it's in video, can't see it as defined as in person, but it illuminates very well. A lot of the colors do bleed through with the glow in the dark as well, so this is like one of my most like valued pieces that I have. Not to mention, I love classic rock, and he was an amazing guitarist. Not to mention, you know, I listen to his music along with all the other crazy awesome music that I listen to. And don't say it isn't, because <laughs> it is. So, yeah, Jimi Hendrix, rock on.